Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Dr. Jacobs. In this video, I'm gonna answer a very important question. Are calcium supplements dangerous? Before you take in calcium supplements, make sure you watch this video to the end because I'm gonna go over five reasons of any of these five reasons applicable to you, you should not take calcium supplements because that taking calcium supplements could increase your risk of having a lot of health issue and injure your uh, your body. So uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna go over if you have any calcium, uh, uh, if you have any bone issue like decreased bone density, what should you do instead of taking calcium supplements? So first, before we start, we need to understand uh, how much calcium we're currently taking compared to our ancestor. So when we look at our ancestors, the ratio between calcium and magnesium was one to one. So one calcium unit to one magnesium unit, and that's a balanced diet. But when we look at the American diet, the ratio is 10 calcium units per one magnesium unit. And that's a red flag because calcium and magnesium has to, they have to work together for bone health, for the health of your entire body. And that's the problem that we already take in a lot of calcium from milk, uh, dairy product, cheese, a lot of product we eat in American diet, including high calcium level and has low magnesium level. And that's make this ratio is off. And this is a red flag that causes a lot of health issue. So I'm gonna go over a few things that will uh, help us to understand why you should not take calcium if you have any of the health issue that I'm gonna go over. But before we do that, if you take in calcium because you listen to the hype of the media of calcium to strengthen your bones, <coughs> you need to understand that calcium is not the only ingredients to improve your bone health. You have to have a good balance between calcium protein, especially collagen, calcium, um, vitamin D, magnesium, K, uh, and also you need to have certain hormones like PTH, TSH growth hormone, estrogen. So if you, if you are a woman and you have low estrogen, that increase your risk of having bone issue. So, and there's other ingredients that need to be included in your diet for your body to form a strong uh, bone, like vitamin A, C, B, zinc, iron, bone, magnesium, and copper. So when we look at the statement that says, yeah, you have bone decreased bone density because you have calcium deficiency, that's extremely inaccurate unless you had the blood work that confirming that. If you don't have a blood work confirming that you have calcium deficiency, it's, it's kind of like uh, just a blonde statement that uh, there is no support for the evidence you need calcium. Because when we look at American diet, it's extremely high in calcium, but extremely low in magnesium, which think about this way, our bone is like you baking a cake. All the ingredient has to be perfectly measured so it, the cake will taste good at the end. If you have something off, it's not gonna uh, taste right. So we have to have all these ingredients to have a good bone health. So the overlooked uh, supplements, D, K, magnesium, protein, and other supplements here that actually could lead to decreased bone density. I wanna go over another important point of when you have too much calcium, what that gonna do to your butt. So uh, there's something called atherosclerosis, and you can see it here in the image. It's basically thickening of the, uh, the blood vessels. And it's actually building a black. And you can see it in this image. The first one on the top here, and you see your blood vessel is nice and smooth, like there is no buildup of plaque here. And here in the second image, you can see the black, and that's narrowing your blood vessels. Um, let's look at the ingredients of the narrowing of the blood vessels, which is a plaque. 
The main ingredient for that is actually calcium. So if you already taking enough calcium in your diet and taking calcium supplements, you increase your level of calcium, which is going to encourage building up those uh, plaque. So plaque is consists of um, calcium, cholesterol, waste product, fibrin, fatty substance. But the hardening part is actually hardened by the calcium. And that's what we need to really be careful about because that's what link, link to a lot of health issue. So let's go look at the studies that uh, um, looked at high level of calcium in the blood and taking calcium supplements, what, what that could be doing to our body. So first thing, because most of the people connect the calcium to the bone, so in this study, they looked at the widespread prescription of calcium and to prevent fractures, because that's the main thing that a lot of uh, uh, people like assume or even a healthcare providers take calcium to prevent fracture. But the thing that they found is it should be abandoned. Why? Because majority of the fracture for older population is usually the hip fracture. And they found it did not prevent hip fracture. So if you have extremely high calcium, you're going to be very low in magnesium because there is a good balance. It has to be balanced in the body and that will not have a good bone density. And also D, we don't get enough D from our American diet or enough magnesium or K. So basically you increase the calcium level that does not deposit much in your bone because you have too much calcium and it's you start to have a lot of other health issue so let, let's look at the second reason why you should not take calcium supplements heart diseases and that's related to the plaque here so there's large observation that they found calcium actually increase your risk of myocardial infa infarction which means there is a higher chance you will have heart attack from having too much calcium. And calcium actually should be, it's dangerous because it causes calcification. And think about this way, you want calcification in your bone to make it strong, but you don't want calcification in your blood vessels and your heart to clog your arteries and veins in your heart and cause heart attack. And that's what they have found. And there's a lot of study support the, the evidence that Taking calcium supplements increase your risk of heart attack and heart disease significantly, 50 to 60 percent at least. So that's one of the studies. So let's look at the second reason why you should not take calcium, third reason I mean. So in this study they found that calcium supplementation, monotherapy, when you, you take it and especially on empty stomach, it increases your risk of a stroke. So it's also, it's increase your risk of having heart attack, stroke, and actually it does not help you much with improving your bone health, which is actually a lot of people taking calcium for that reason. So let's look at the fourth reason why you should not take calcium. If you have issue with kidney stone, you definitely for sure you should not take calcium unless you have a blood work shows you have severe calcium deficiency. 80 to 90% of kidney stones actually uh, com com composed of calcium. So it's either calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. So if you have too much calcium, your kidney has to process that calcium. And if you are, if your body is a type of body that building kidney uh, stone, that will uh, really build more uh, calcium, uh, calcium stones. Okay. So lead to stone formation. So if you have kidney stone, that's something very obvious. You want to be careful with about, uh, taking calcium supplement. So the last reason is applicable to especially elder population that when you take calcium supplementation, it's increased the risk of age-related molecular degeneration. What that mean? It's mean blurry vision, the central vision in your eye. So they found a patient who 67 years and older and taking vitamin, uh, taking calcium, that increased the risk of having blurred vision. So it's actually degenerate their uh, molecular in the eye. So that's a very um, 
very, very uh, bad news actually for elder population because most of them actually the one actually taking calcium supplements. So to sum it up, high calcium level in your blood and taking calcium supplements that could increase your risk of <coughs> heart attack, heart diseases, strokes, kidney stone, and if you are elder, you will have probably ch higher chance of having molecular degeneration. So what you should do, especially a lot of you probably watching this video because you have bone health issue, you need to understand it's not only calcium, it's the balance between calcium, D, magnesium, K, and other nutrients that actually should build your bone strong. So you need to know that in the body there is at least 13 vitamins, there is 16 minerals, there is over 50 hormones or 40 neurotransmitters. This has to work synergistically to really have your body uh, healthy. But especially for the bone, if you have imbalance here, especially with the American diet, high in calcium, high calcium actually will lower your magnesium level. And usually if your diet high in calcium, it's usually low in D, magnesium, and K, and that will good recipe for having osteoporosis or osteopenia or decreased bone density. So the best thing you need to do is you need to figure out which vitamins or minerals from this uh, list that you have deficiency with. And that's what you need to meet to really have a good, strong bone uh, and decrease your risk of having osteopenia, osteoporosis, and that's what leading to bone fracture. So uh, a lot of labs uh, are not very sensitive and it has to be looked at, especially for vitamin K and magnesium, to look to like uh, uh, specifically for the patient. And we have to actually at the same time Think about your lifestyle because bone health is, in, is, if you have sedentary lifestyle and sitting in the front of a computer or not working out or doing any weight training, that also will decrease your bone density. But one of the things that's very common that's used is taking D3 and K2 because it's common deficiency. I personally prefer if you have issue with your bone to really figure out which of these vitamins and minerals that you have deficiency with. So one of the way you can actually do today to take advantage of Ask Aster, it's a free online medical evaluation. That software, it takes about five minutes actually to, uh, to answer the questionnaire. And the software will guide you through the process of possible vitamins, mineral deficiency that could lead to have bone, uh, uh, bone density deficiency. So, um, and it's a free and uh, you can do it actually right now when you go to askaster.com. So if you have any question, leave it in the comment section below and I will answer it in a future video. I will see you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below or go to asterinstitute.com.